my friends, Miss Sherry from Harold Zion Lutheran Church coming to you on Holy Saturday. Yes, Holy Saturday. Um, a lot of Christians believe that this is the holiest day of Holy Week because this Saturday is the day that we are waiting. We are hoping, we are praying, we are mourning the loss of Jesus, but we are hoping that he will be risen again from the dead. And in my household, I have a candle that's burning all day long to remind me that I am waiting and I am praying and I am hoping. And talking about prayer, I want to talk about praying and how Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray right after the Last Supper that he had with the disciples. Um, Jesus knew that something horrible was going to happen to him and that it was his Father's will. But he was scared. He was struggling with it. Just as we get scared and how we struggle with things in our lives, Jesus was struggling too. He had the weight of the world on him at that point. So he prayed and prayed and prayed and he said to his, you know, to dad, do I have to do this? This is going to be horrible. It's going to be painful. I don't want to do this. And Jesus was struggling between his human self and his father's will. So finally God said, hey, I'm with you. This is my will. It needs to be done, but I am with you. And for this short period of suffering, you are going to bring so much joy and glory to the world. So Jesus said, okay, if this is what you want, Dad, I'm going to do it. And then we know that later that evening, Judas brought the Roman army and they arrested Jesus and they found him guilty and they crucified him. So Saturday, we're just waiting. And I thought while we were waiting and praying, I would talk about the prayer that Jesus gave us, the Lord's Prayer. Now we say it every week in church, and you may even say it at home before dinner or before bedtime. And I wanted to talk to you about this prayer, and I wanted to break it down line by line so that you can understand it. Um, and I'm taping in my bedroom today because I pray a lot in my bedroom. It is the one place in my house that's quiet that I can close the door and I can pray. And sometimes I do say the Lord's Prayer. So let's start. It starts off with our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now our Father of course is God in heaven and hallowed be thy name is because God's name is holy. God and his his the way his word and his name it's all holy and in the commandments the 10 commandments it says don't misuse God's name because it's holy. So the next then we have thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God's kingdom is in heaven, but it's also here on earth. God's kingdom on earth is where we listen for God, where we feel God's love and that he's with us, and that we try to follow the rules, the Ten Commandments, the laws that he gave us. We try to follow those. So that's why it's his kingdom is here on the earth, and it's also in heaven. And then we have, give us this day our daily bread. Now, give us this day our daily bread. We're asking God to give us what we need. And what we need to survive is um, the will to go out and forge for food and water and clothing and shelter and such. But most importantly, what we need is the bread of life. And that's what we're asking for here. Then we have, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Now, trespass is sin. That's what he's talking about here, is sin. 
And this is the big one. This is where Jesus comes into play. This is when he died on the cross for our sins so that we can be forgiven. So we are asking for forgiveness of our sins, and we're also asking for the strength to forgive those who have sinned against us, who, who have done bad things to us. So then we have, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now, God is always with us. He is always with us. He's in good times and in bad times. And we're asking him here to guide us down the right path and lead us away from sin and the devil and evil. And then in the very last verse, for the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Now, what we're saying here is God created everything. He even created us. So we are a part of this kingdom, and it's a glorious kingdom. And we're thanking him. We're like, hey, thanks. Amen. You know, this is great that we're a part of your kingdom. So that's the breakdown of the Lord's Prayer. Um and I thought maybe we can end today with saying the Lord's Prayer together. So let's gather, let's bow our heads, and let's pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, friends. So tomorrow is Easter Sunday. And I hope that you can join me and Pastor John and Pastor Caroline and Miss Laurie for worship tomorrow morning when we release the Alleluia's. Um, I posted on Facebook and there was a mass email that went out with a poster of Alleluia that you can make at home. You can color and tape it together and you can hang it in your windows or hang it somewhere in your house or even have it ready to wave when we release the Alleluia's tomorrow. So say your prayers today and pray for Jesus and we're waiting for his love to come to us. So I hope you could join me tomorrow and I want to say happy Easter and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.